Welcome back to my channel. You may be thinking it looks a bit different. I am now in situ in the new office. Um, behind me is the sort of product on this wall that you cannot see is more product and we are still settling in and moving in so I basically whacked the desk up, Ben put the cameras up and we're just going to do it. You may also be able to tell that we are still a little bit hot in the UK hence the bun. I'm not going to lie people, it's the best I can do so we're just going to go with it. This is going to be an empties video with a little bit of a, not a twist but because I hate all that nonsense, it's not a twist, it's an empties video but what I'm doing is when I stop using something because I'm not quite getting on with it or I don't like it, I'm putting it in the empties video so maybe I'll call it empties and meh meh. It's very catchy, I think we can all agree. Let's start with two for the boys. Um, these I have stuck, because I always leave them to the end, you know it's not fair, Mr Hirons. Lab Series Multi Action Face Wash and Routine for Men Dual Action Face Wash. I'm just throwing these in there because I, I'm frequently asked by both female partners of boys, male partners of boys, and boys themselves, um, about male face washes. Now, obviously skin is skin, you can use anything that we use, as in we females use. Don't get too caught up on it, but if you want a specific boy product that says for boys, Mr. Hiron says that these are very good. I took them off them, took them off him before he took scissors to it. Well, actually I'm the one who takes scissors to things, but I didn't want the product all over my desk. So Lab Series Multi Action Face Wash and Routine for Men Dual Action Face Wash. Both very good, apparently. Okay, cleansers. Now there are two missing from this. We got through two pixie double cleanse of mine uh, over the summer because we took them on holiday and just sort of they were their Ava's sleepover friends favorite because these girls wear a lot of makeup and it takes it all off um but they also chuck them away thanks girls although in their defense what kind of mother has a job where you have to keep your empty products and talk about it into a camera it's not just the normal thing is it so i understand but these are ones that are in my control and I, as soon as they were near empty, I was watching them like a hawk and hiding them in my bedroom. I have two of these, it won't be a surprise. What happened was the brand contacted me and said, we have just found some more, would you like them? This will all make sense when I show you. <coughs> Kate Somerville goat milk cleanser. Now, the backstory on this was, it's been in empties before, maybe two times, three times. They launched this cleanser, we all loved it, however the formula didn't match the packaging. The formula was a sort of oily balm and the oil dripped out of the packaging. In fact, this one's a bit greasy where there's a bit of leftover. However, the formula was so good that we all did what we had to do to still keep using it. So I had readers sending me pictures of them storing it like this. I did the same thing. I wedged it in a Muji pot and sort of stuffed them in. Um, I am begging them, begging them to reformulate or repackage one or the other as soon as i hear anything i will let you know just know that if you have any of this this moisturizing cleanser there's not much point in me giving it like a proper review because it's gone and i think i did review it on the blog at the time but i love it <laughs> and it is going to get chopped in half because this has a little bit left here but just too hard to squeeze out um please people of kate somerville hear our prayer Speaking of female Americans, Tata Harper, I, I had to steal this because again, it was used mostly, um, not mostly, I, she used her unfair share of it is how I should best describe it. This is Nourishing Oil Cleanser. As I've said before, Tata Harper does not make a cleanser that I do not like. This Nourishing Oil Cleanser is probably the only one that I would use to remove makeup. All of her other cleansers, I would say are suitable for variation a variation of, of skin types including like the new clarifying one is specifically designed for an oily combination and spots um, the regenerating is quite nice if you're sort of rough or dry rough this one is makeup remover and softening wash it is a brilliant makeup remover it lasts ages this also made an appearance in the love the juice hate the packaging video and they did fix the pump and i can confirm the pump works perfectly beautifully not a splash of oil on top i will use this all the time love it um i, I rescued these while we we're on holiday because i was thinking ahead in terms of try and save them i think like that clearly my child does not 
This is a couple of sachets that I rescued from Clinique Fresh Pressed. Now, I don't use these every day. I tend to use them when I'm traveling. I use them if, uh, usually at the weekend when I wanna give my skin a bit of a treat and a bit of a brightening. Um, I did take them on holiday just because you get the fresh burst of vitamin C and it feels like you're making an effort after all of that SPF and sort of sun damage, let's be honest. So that's still going. I stopped short, I thought two was adequate. I didn't wanna bring in a whole pack of empties. And then this one, I bought this in because I might refill it because the pot size is perfect. This is Clinique Take the Day Off Mini Travel. It's totally done. You all know this very well. If you don't and you're new, welcome. Go and read on the blog and then come back. But Clinique Take the Day Off is destroys makeup and I use this as a travel. It really needs to go in the bin though. It's a bit manky. Um, we haven't got through as many of the big ones of this since I've had Pixie Double Cleanse. Um, but every time I get a travel size and a GWP or anything like that, or to be honest, if I see them and I steal them from the PR, then I keep them for overnight, weekend. It's perfect for that. Toners. I only have two and I'll tell you for why. I am trialing some acid toners that are embargoed. Not helpful at all. I know. I just didn't want you to think I wasn't using them. I am. Um, I also um, have been using some DDG, Dennis Gross pads, but they're in the tear sachets. Didn't think to keep one of them because you're always just like, oh, I've got the box and then suddenly you don't have the box and then you have nothing to show in an empties video. So I have been dabbling in acids, not as strongly as usual. So the two empties I have in the traditional toner section, again, will be no surprise, Mr. Rosebrook. Hydrating Accelerator. Oh, I don't know which one's new. Oh, this will be new. Look at this. Hydrating Accelerator All Skin Types. This is the old one. Tell you for why. Because this one has French on it. Hydrating Accelerator Moisturizing Facial Mist. Broom pour Visage. That tells you he had to do that for Europe. That's what that is. Yes, and it has the French registered address um, for the EU. So this is obviously the new packaging. There you go. Uh, we have these everywhere and I have sadly got everyone addicted to it in the office. So... It moves from my desk to Ben's desk. We have one in the fridge. When we moved into the new office, the new office has it. I'll do it. I don't know, should I do an office tour? I feel like uh, maybe I will. But anyway, we have a proper little kitchenette and it has a proper size fridge. So the fridge that we had in my old office, we bought to this office and it's now a skincare fridge. And in this heat, London has been baking. We have been keeping things like this in the fridge. So I now have a dedicated skincare fridge. Living the dream, people, living the dream. That is Josh Rosebrook. It is suitable for all skin types. Um, I feel like, I, have I been saying that? Kind of. Suitable for all skin types. Um, once tried, never forgotten. Okay, eye cream. This is where I have two meh products. And it's not that they're not good products. It's just that for me, they are either, they're just not the right fit. Again, I'll tell you why. So this is Clinique All About Eyes Rich. Now, I, I endorsed this wholly when it first came out. Um, and I would still recommend it for those of you with super dry eyes, i.e. borderline eczematic eyes. I find now these days for my fine lines, I need something much lighter down a sort of hyaluronic acid serum type thing, a runnier cream. This is a tad too rich. So heads up if you are super dry around the eye, but if you have heavy eyelids or hooded eyelids, don't put this anywhere near your eyelids. It's just too heavy and you'll get puffy. However, underneath, it's perfect. So swings and roundabouts, bit too heavy for me. Definitely one for you to look at if you suffer from a dry eye and you'll know exactly what I mean if you do suffer from that. This one, taking that a step further, actually, this one I've used a significant amount of because it because it's an eye cream it's only a small amount but that is a significant amount for me this is skin SkinCeuticals AGE eye complex again it says mature skin remedy to diminish dark circles puffiness and effects of glycation well that part's fine but the puffiness I tend to disagree because it is so thick that hang on see you kind of want your eye cream to be a bit runnier than that now it does absorb and it gives a lovely 
glow, you can see it. So both of these are weirdly great to use on top of your makeup just to make sure you've kind of got rid of the lines. Bit too puffy for me in terms of daily usage. I like something just a bit lighter. So they're kind of in the meh, but it's not like meh don't use them, it's meh not for me. However, I have three that are wicked and they are dry as a bone. Pestle and Mortar Recover the Ultimate Eye Cream. Now this one is, I don't think there's any, yeah, look. Nothing. Um, Pestle and Mortar, one of my favorite kind of mid-range, um, if I say good and basic, that kind of doesn't endorse it enough. It's a great range. When I say basic, what I mean is it doesn't have excess flouncing. It doesn't have all singing, all whistling, stupid descriptions, and it, there's no hyperbole. It does what it says, and I love that. They're also really, really good, decent people, and that is becoming more and more important to me the older I get. Um, great eye cream literally good for all skin types good for fine lines good for didn't didn't add to my puffiness um highly recommend that would be number three this month number one is tied between two um and i'm just gonna go straight in and show you what they are so like i say that would be number three these two are tied for first place. Sea Tango Multivitamin Eye Cream. This is my second pump, bottle, tube, whatever of this. Power 5C, eight peptide blend. Um, Drunk Elephant is, you know Drunk Elephant. If you're in the US, you know it. If you're in the UK, you're asking me every single day when it's coming. I'm sure it will be here at some point. What you need to know is that from the moment I tried this, and I'm pretty sure, yeah, look. No, dead. From the moment I tried this, and I gave it, this was in LA, whenever I was in LA earlier this year, I gave it to people I was with to try. I didn't give it to them, I was like, try this, what do you think? And they were other formulators, and they all, everyone was just like, oh, that texture feels lovely, it feels amazing. And they were putting it on and going, oh, yes. We were all in agreement that they've nailed it. Sea Tango Multivitamin Eye Cream, Trunk Elephant, love it. Um, uh, what does it say? Oh God, why am I reading the French bit? Help my eyes, please. Uh, gently pad, pad da, 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 maybe used with, yeah, don't do all that. Don't do that. Don't use it with the other eye cream. You only need one eye cream. 100% um, fragrance essential oil and irritant free. Okay, Drunk Elephant had a few sort of issues, mainly on Instagram this year in terms of some of their messaging, um, some of it is a little skewed, uh, they've been pulled up on it. I'm not interested in the drama because frankly for me, the products by and large have been phenomenal and I love this eye cream. So kind of put all that to one side, focus on the product. The product is immense. That's kind of the best I can say. Coming in like top of the pops at a joint number one, DCL Peptide Plus eye treatment looks like this. Um, again, dead. Although this, I think you can screw. Oh, no. Oh, I've got a little bit off of it. Uh, this is the complete antithesis of this. So this is waving the green flag. DCL is Dermatologic Cosmetic Laboratories. Um, they are not interested in this in terms of, we don't use this ingredient, we don't use that. They are all about the science. The messaging is all about the science. This eye cream, along with the Seascape eye cream, that if it wasn't in one of my last videos, I've probably lost it, but they have two eye creams, the Peptide Plus eye treatment and the Nightscape, or the Seascape eye. Both phenomenal. Uh, in terms of here and no puffiness and radiance and so if I was picking purely because of my age and needing the chemical, I would, this would slightly edge it. However, I would ideally use both. I know you don't need to. And that's the other thing about doing these empties videos. Please don't think that by me talking about all this product that I'm in any way suggesting that you go out and buy everything I'm talking about. You might be looking for a new cleanser. Something I, I say may trigger something in you that says, oh, actually, that sounds like my skin. I'll do that one. 
this isn't a get your credit card out and go shopping this is a if you're looking for an eye cream and the green side of things is important to you this is awesome if you're looking for an eye cream and you need the help of Jesus DCL is awesome and if you're looking for a great eye cream you're not in your 40s 45 plus and you've got a tighter budget pestle and mortar is awesome there we go okay serums oils things in the middle there's lots of these because i have been i've just been caning the middle and when i say that i mean i've been very very good in taking care of um the treatment side of my skin if that makes any sense i don't know you'll know what i mean when i talk to you right uh, i'm going to go from oldest to newest i used these up first uh, this is Neostrata Antioxidant Defense Serum and Neostrata Firming Collagen Booster. I should do them that way round because that's kind of the way I apply them. I do antioxidant first, firming collagen booster next. Does it say there's any way to use it? No, they both say alone or under moisturizer. Um, Neostrata is a fantastic brand. It is a clinical brand. It is not sold on the high street. You'll have to Google it, find their distributor in your country and then go to probably a clinic or a salon or a clinic or a spa to find it. Uh, the antioxidant defense serum is just, they're both really light. This feels like I might have a bit left. Yeah, there's a teeny, teeny bit. Uh, really clear, really clear gel, gone in seconds. Super, super light, suitable for all skin types. Firming, firming collagen booster is for you. Have I got any left of this one? Uh, little, see I'm getting better at remembering as you're getting to the end to come and film first exactly the same consistency I wore them on top of each other um, yeah no scent just really really light I'm moving the more that technology brings us these super super fine formulations the more that I am moving further and further away from the traditional big heavy creams you know I said in one of my last videos where's my book it's up there somewhere the Estee Lauder biography uh, that she wrote is all about her making these super creams that were so rich and thick and wonderful and gave you a gorgeous glow and all that sort of stuff. I mean, that was in the 70s and 60s and 70s. We now know, of course, that they did do that. But in terms of penetration, the penetration value of those creams would have been very low because they were invariably mineral oil based 30, 40, 50 years ago, maybe longer. Um, now, these formulas are so sophisticated that I'm going finer and finer and I know that people like Nadine is doing the same thing. We're obsessed with finding the lightest formulas so that you get penetration, you get the goodness into your skin, but you don't feel heavy or laden down and your skin is still challenged into making its own moisture rather than just being coated in creosote. Um, sticking with clinical brands, SkinCeuticals, HA Intensifier, HA being hyaluronic acid. Um, multifunctional serum to help amplify skin's hyaluronic acid levels. It looks like this. I know that um, Anna, Anna Edit, is also obsessed with this. Uh, da -da 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 -da, let's see. This multi-beneficial formula containing a high concentration of pure hyaluronic acid, proxylane, and purple rice extract supports skin's natural hyaluronic acid reservoir to help renew plumpness, elasticity, and firmness. The appearance of crow's feet. Uh, this writing is so small. Oh, nasolobial folds here and marionette lines are reduced and a taut and smooth canvas is formed to help refine. But I'm not blind, by the way, it's the smallest writing ever. Don't know, four to six drops. Use after an antioxidant and follow with moisturizer and sunscreen. I just read that out to you to give you an idea of where things go. I actually. Okay. I think the placement of where they've put this in their routine is right. They're saying to use it after an antioxidant serum. So if you were doing, uh, and I do that, I always use hyaluronic acid at the end, just before a light moisturizer or another sort of light hyaluronic acid lotion, because you want it to plump up the skin and almost stay as close to the surface or on the surface as possible, because it helps with fine lines, it makes the skin juicier again, and it's especially beneficial for makeup applications. So, exactly what they are saying and how to use it is how I use it and that doesn't happen very often um, 
stay on. So I would use something like an antioxidant defense serum first, and there are loads out there that I've spoken about before. The Zellens one is brilliant. He spoke about that in the SPF video. Um, this first, hyaluronic acid second, and then you would go in with moisturizer, lotion, whatever, anything like that. This is brilliant. It's at the higher end of the price point. It is again, suitable for all skin types. Everybody can use hyaluronic acid. Um, there are cheaper ones out there, but this is brilliant. Don't know what to tell you. Neostrata and SkinCeuticals, they're clinical brands. They usually deliver. This I have used two. I think I'm almost down to the third one. And this is one of those products that you didn't know you needed until you tried it. And then you suddenly thought, why have I never had this before? This is Indeed Labs Mineral Booster. They look like this. I've gone through, like I say, these two are empty. Two to three drops, cleanse face in the AM and PM, apply directly to skin or mix with your preferred serum or moisturizer. I apply these directly to my skin first. So if I'm doing, because I want the minerals on the skin, it's also, they also have hyaluronic acid in them. So it's kind of like an, what I'm saying about the light layering. So if you wanted to, I'm not suggesting you do, I'm just giving you tips for your own routine. Something that is beneficial to your skin or treating your skin, like a vitamin C or a retinol, generally goes first. I tend to do mineral first, then antioxidant, and then hyaluronic acid. I'm not suggesting you use three serums it's just the if you're going to use two or three that's how you would slot them in um these are i just found them healing they made my skin calmer they my skin just looked better using them than it did when i wasn't using them i loved them speaking of better using it and then when it i wasn't using it this has made an appearance again fitness daughter Active Botanical Serum, don't know how many of these I've been through over the years, it's fantastic, um, it is expensive, you know, normally I'd say oh it's at the higher end of the price point, it's expensive, end of. It is a beautiful product, oh I can get some out of that, hang on, oh look at that, yes, um, it is a beautiful product, I don't know what tomfoolery April does when she is, when she was making this, and I kind of wish, see I've laid it too much on now, I kind of wish she would bring out something else. I know she says that, I believe she says, well, I've made one excellent product. That's kind of what we set out to do, fair enough. It kind of makes me want more. It is beautiful, it is suitable for all skins. However, if you're 20, don't buy this. If you're 20, buy something like this, or just the hyaluronic acid and a good SPF. If you are in your 40s and you can afford it, maybe check it out she now makes i think three or five mil travel sizes uh, sample sizes for you to try uh look on her website of course i will link everything below but vintner's daughter i've used it non-stop since i first got it i gave it to trini who was skeptical because of the price she became obsessed with it uh steph became obsessed with it so it's just a great product in terms of what it does for the skin if you are slightly older and your skin does not have the capacity to retain oil like it used to, um, you know, the tighter your bra needs to be, the stronger your skincare needs to be. It's probably best leave it like that. Now, this oil, this is not a representation, a true representation of how many of these I've used. I've used at least three travel size and I'm down to the dregs of a full size. It is by far, by far, would I say by far? Probably I would say by far. The best facial oil I've ever used. I do not say that lightly. It just has a particular affinity for my skin. If you are, to be honest, I think it would work on any skin. I cannot think of a skin that could not use this oil. Like I say, don't be fooled by the size. I've been through at least three or four of these when I've traveled and I have a near empty one at home. It's Drunk Elephant again, Virgin Marula Luxury Facial Oil. This is from their little Try, try Me kit. I was asked at an event, I'm doing um, events for my Space NK box around the country, and I was asked at an event in Scotland, the difference between this and the much, much cheaper one that's on the market. And I just had to say, it is, it's a better oil. I don't know what else to tell you, it, try it. When it comes to the UK, just go and try it. If you have any irritation on your face, 
if you are challenging your skin in any way in terms of retinols or strong vitamin C's or treatments or microneedling, anything where you're challenging your skin, you will appreciate the calming effect this has. If you are older and you have the aforementioned lack of ability to retain oil in the skin, you will appreciate what this does the minute you put it on your face. It is fragrance free because it's Drunk Elephant and uh, I cannot, this makes me laugh though, apply two to three drops evenly to face, neck, chest, hands, cuticles, backs of arms, feet or any place needing increased hydration. Babe, I ain't putting this on my feet. <coughs> it's amazing. So like I say, um, this year I think there's been, and I think it's what happens when brands get to that tipping point and Drunk Elephant are definitely at that tipping point of they're known everywhere, the industry loves them, readers love them, bloggers love them. And so with that comes, you know, with greatness comes the other stuff. They've had, I think, maybe their unfair share of some of the other stuff this year, but the products absolutely speak for themselves. I don't know what to tell you people. Ignore the drama, try to focus on the product. This is spectacular. I'm gonna use the word spectacular. Okay, I'm gonna do a couple of treatment ones, then some moisturizers, and then makeup. So this is, it isn't empty skin, it's empty face. <laughs> there are two of these. Um, I, I've just sort of found myself using them up. It wasn't my intention to, I just kept reaching for it. Kate Somerville Retosphere Micro Peel. Um, compliments of Kate Somerville. Thanks, Kate Somerville. I think this one I got in the States and then raved about it and they sent me this one. Um, this, first of all, knocks on the head the whole you can't use retinol and glycolic together because that's exactly what this is. It is a retinol glycolic treatment. Use every other night, apply a thin, even layer to clean dry skin and leave on overnight. It is recommended not to use on the same night as Retosphere 2-in-1 Retinol Night Cream or Exfolicate Intensive Exfoliating Treatment. Fair play. I do like specific, this is how you use it. That's what was great about this. This is one of the few, and you can tell it's a clinical brand that is used to being sold around doctors and derms and facialists because it says, uh, use after an antioxidant and follow with moisturizer and sunscreen. If you're using this, you need to be using sunscreen. You should always be using sunscreen, but if you're using a retinol at night, night time, don't even think about not using sunscreen. Um, this is for you if you are a woman of a certain age, um, you, you have a tough leathery skin and you want help resurfacing, you um, want help in sort of the general glow of the skin, it is designed to resurface. This is for resurfacing and helping to speed up collagen production, which you do not need if you are 20, 25. Your collagen is juicy and bouncy and all over the place. Just take care of your skin. Cleanse it, protect it, cleanse it, protect it. There'll be plenty of time for expensive products when you're older. Moisturizers. Uh, I'm gonna do this one because it took me about three or four years to get through it. Um, it is still my all-time favourite. When I very first mentioned Kate Somerville, and it's just coincidence that there's like three or four Kate Somerville products that I haven't, they haven't talked about them for a while because they've all gone, but when I first mentioned this product and raved about it so much, they sent me a salon size. If I tell you I nearly wept, this has lasted me years, as you can imagine, and it's now, look, it's like cracked, it's knackered this is traditionally it's 150 mil this is what they use in treatment rooms i've spoken about deep tissue repair before i don't i, I can't i cannot emphasize how much i love this moisturizer it is if you can't afford a serum and a moisturizer this is more of a treatment cream treatment moisturizer loaded with peptides rather than just a plain moisturizer. I have plenty of plain moisturizers coming up. This sits between, that's why I've put it here, this sits between a treatment serum and a moisturizer. Do you need it if you're 20? No. Do you need it if you're 30? Not really, unless you're a big smoker. Uh, you need it when you're in your 40s and you definitely could, could do worse than trying it out if you are in any stage of menopause, whether that's bought it on artificially, perimenopause or the chicken has flown the coop menopause. Love it, have loved it for years. 
if you ever stop making this, I will hunt you down. Oh, four moisturizers. Okay. Um, this I loved. I haven't used it as much in the summer. This has been empty since the almost since just before the last video, so a few months. Uh, Drunk Elephant Lala Retro Whipped Cream. It is totally empty. This is her slightly, as Tiffany slightly. Uh, it's not a heavy moisturizer. It's quite light and whipped, but it is definitely for you if you are um, normal, normal to dry, or slightly older. I don't think you need this personally if you are oily combination or acneic. Um, I don't know if that goes against what they say. Sorry, it's not my intention. It's just my thinking. Um, but if you, again, are in the green brigade, and I don't think I've ever done an empties video that's been so split right down the middle in terms of green and hardcore. I don't say that green products can't be hardcore. It's just the difference, like I said, between green hardcore. <laughs> um, this is definitely in the green side. It is a lovely, beautiful moisturiser. I will probably use it in the winter. I keep talking like this. I don't know why. Okay, this, I'm going to do this one and then my top two. Uh, Belief True Cream Moisturising Bomb. This I bought in Sephora. I think I've bought two or three of them. Steph got me onto this. She also recently, hang on, what you can't see is oh my god we haven't sorted it out well enough i can't put my hand on it when i can put my hand on it i'll show you the other version of this um there's a lighter one like a light blue i love that too this mullard properly mullard where does that come from mullard i don't know um moisturizing balm clinically proven to retain moisture for moisture for up to 26 hours um it doesn't say a particular skin type so this is uh, normal, normal to combination, normal to dry, normal to dehydrated. You will probably prefer the bluer one. So this is a white cream. You can't even see because it's gone, but it literally looks like that inside when, you're, when there's a cream in it, it's white. The one that's light blue is much more of a hyaluronic acid based one and that is better for you if you are normal combination, oily, acneic. I love this cream. I also love the eye cream that comes with this. And in the, in the situation of moving, because I moved all the excess product from my home, and the old office into this office. This entire wall is product. So the joy for me is find, rediscovering things. So I'm on a no buy, I'm shopping from my stash, and I know I have a couple of these somewhere, and I have the lighter one somewhere, which would have been sensible to use in the last three months when I've been sweating like red rum, um, and the eye cream. Love it, you cannot go wrong. Sephora US, um, I don't know where it is here. If I find it, I'll link it below. These are my number, number one and number two i'm gonna do oh this is oh, that's a left. okay number two this month is zelen z recovery intensive repair balm this is done it is destroyed i have and because you can see through this you can tell there's nothing in it so i didn't need to take scissors to it it all came down there was a tiny shadow here i got it all out this saved my face now if you follow me online and on Instagram in particular, you'll know I had a massive allergic reaction to a product I was trialing for a brand. They have since scrapped it. I've covered that before, I don't need to go over it. But if I tell you my face was on fire, I am not exaggerating. I, I was having a panic, Louise was with me, and I was like, oh my God, what do I do, what do I do? My skin was this color, literally this color. She was like, I said, oh, Zellin. She said, oh, Zellin, where's the repair bomb, the repair bomb? And so, she found this, then I sent a picture to the doc going, <laughs> look at my face. Um, and he just, before he could even, he was just typing vitamin D, vitamin D. So the vitamin D and this on repeat all day, brought it down and I think literally saved my skin. If you have any kind of skin problem, whether it is allergy, hives, redness, irritation, burn, even redness from acne, Try this, get your hands on one of these, try a tester in store, order a sample, do what you can, but it's called recovery for a reason. Uh, he made this, Dr. Lenz made this to help heal the skin after surgery. He's a surgeon. Uh, it just so happens it's fantastic if your face goes on fire, which mine did. However, number one, for an entirely different reason, and again, hardcore, green brigade. 
Green Brigade, hard to say with your bottom trade Invisalign in, which I, yes, I'm still with the Invisalign. I've got like two months left. Josh Rosebrook, Vital Balm Cream. This, this, look, there's some left. I cannot tell you how happy I am to see that little blue shadow of something. This is my all time top five. It is, so this and this are top five for different reasons. This is Desert Island. Um, there's actually, there's a few Desert Island products on here. This is the complete antithesis to everything I've just said to you in terms of uh, using light ones, using hyaluronic acid. It's thicker, you have to work it in your hands. It goes against everything I've ever told you. One of the reasons I don't like the original La Mer is because it's mineral oil based and they do this thing where you have to warm it in your hands. And I've always said, Poh! Cod's wallop. You have, to, you have to warm this in your hands a bit, but I could not love it more if it was standing in front of me naked singing Save a Prayer. Josh Rosebrook, I, I cannot, I adore you. Your products are spectacular. Get your fucking ass to the UK big time. I want to see you in Space in K. I want to see you on a shelf. I want to just, I just want to see you. Your face here with me in my office. That's an official request. Get yourself some of this people. It's goosebump good. Goosebump good. GBG. Okay, makeup. Uh, stick around if you're a boy because you can use the first one I'm talking about. These are also mullered. Um, this is, I haven't spoken about it much, but this just shows how much I've gone through. And it's one of those things that because I never really have it to hand because I use it at home, once I've done it, it kind of sits on my shelf and then I, then I run out and I'm like, oh God, I must put that in empties. However, Trini London BFF Cream. I use medium. If you have not tried these, all I can say is it is SPF 30, which is my minimum these days. Um, it is, it's just a job well done, Trindles. Uh, if you are in America and I run, or I keep saying America, that's, please don't be offended if you're in Australia or Germany. It's just that my second largest audience is in the States. Third is Ireland. Love you, Dublin. Um, I digress. If you haven't heard of Trini worldwide outside of the UK, um, she's been around for quite a while in the UK. She had a TV program. I did a video with her. I'll link that below. Trini London came out last year. She does the stack. I don't have them here. I've shown them before in videos. But the BFF is your no-brainer. This works on all skin types across, on top of your serum, on top of your moisturizer. If I'm feeling particularly dry, I can do, let me see, what would I do? I've got everything facing the wrong way. I'd spritz with Josh. Eye cream, one here. And then maybe hyaluronic acid or mineral and hyaluronic acid. I could put this on, on its own. That, that's been enough in the summer. That's why they're more, this, this, is, this is testament to how hot it has been because I've been coming to the office a lot because you haven't seen me for a while. I've been working, we've been moving office, been on holiday and I don't wear makeup unless I have to. This is SPF 30, it is tinted. Now I'm medium. No, they're totally dead. God, I should have saved you a bit. No, it's not happening, let me see. I can't get into it, I'm gonna have to take scissors to it. It comes out almost like a gray, silver. You put it on your skin and the pigment disperses and gives you the color. It goes from pale to dark. I think, I'm not mistaken in saying it is her best seller and I understand why. Even if you can't, you don't find yourself buying into the stack, which I would also recommend. I'll do more about that when I do a makeup video. Um, this is lush. Go online, you put in your hair, your eyes, your skin tone, it tells you what color you need. I use medium. Um, oh, just a touch. Oh yeah, and then you can use just a touch, which is her foundation over it. I haven't really wanted to in the summer just because it's so hot. I just wanted the SPF. There we go. Three, makeup. New CID, Coral Crush Eye Glow. That's my latest one. You've seen this potentially in every empties video I've ever made. I use this every day. It's kind of a bit of my glow. If they stop making it, I'm going to have to go to the factory where it's made and get them to make one just for me. I'll obviously sell it to you too, but that is how much I'm obsessed with it. For me, it is just the perfect mix of coral, gold, pink, rosy. Like, it's, I just love it. 
I actually have lost count how many of those I have gotten through in the last, I think I only started using this when I started blogging. I think I was invited to a new CID launch really in the really, really early days of blogging, which is eight and a half years ago. I've used it every day since. Well, when I wear makeup. I've used it every time I wear makeup since. Similar to this, actually, this is Chanel, uh, this is Dimensions de Chanel. I thought this was Le Volume. Oh, I had a different, sorry, I know I'm being very rude. Um, Chanel mascara, love them. I, I get lashes done sporadically. These are kind of falling off because they're post-summer. Um, I still love a good mascara. Chanel Le Volume is brilliant. And I thought this was Le Volume, but it says that the label says Dimensions de Chanel. So I'm clearly talking nonsense. There you go, they've got more than one good one. This I'm throwing in here as an honourable mention because it's a new one, but only because I've been through maybe one every three weeks ever since I first used this too. This is Pixie's Lip Lift Max. This colour is Petal Ice. This is the original one. Hang on, please hold, Paula. Uh, I do have a bit of an Armani pink underneath. I'm just showing, look. And then, I do, basically, this is like your sort of creamy handbag that you can wear with any outfit in a lip gloss. It is slightly tinted pink. It's not as pink as it looks in here when it's on the lip. It, mm, it's minty, it makes your own lips look better and it goes on top of any lipstick to make your favorite lipstick into a gloss, if that is what you want. I think I'm done. Oh, okay, I will list everything below. I will try and get on comments. Um, that is like a perfect mix of green, 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 green. See, I love all of these products are probably all, actually all of these products are in my top 10 green products of all time. And then, please hold caller, hardcore, 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 oh, I forgot Vintners in the green section. Hardcore, so it depends what you're looking for. Something for everyone. And if anything shows where I'm headed, it's that what I really want at the end of the day is a result. I've been doing this clean campaign with Space NK. The conversations we're having in store have been great because people are saying, well, what about this? And I'm like, well, what result do you want? If you want to get that result, with using as few chemical processes as possible because at the end of the day that's kind of what green is you know it's it has tata harbour's nourishing oil cleanser has fewer chemical processes to make it than dcl's eye cream so it's fine in a cleanser in the middle i tend to go hardcore um it depends what you want depends on your budget depends what your skin needs depends on what you are comfortable using i love all of these products, even the ones that I said were potentially meh, it only means they're just not suitable for me. They would be great for you if you have that, well, actually in both those cases, it was the eye creams and that's if you have a really dry eye. Thanks for watching. Next up, I don't know if you can see, but these shelves over here, where I've left it so long doing videos for empties in particular, there's an entire shelf of body and an entire shelf of hair. They will be up next. The background is probably gonna change because like I said, we've just moved in. Um, empties videos next brand overview videos start September we are going weekly we are going hardcore and that just have to be the title of the office Caroline Hines hardcore and the address uh, take care see you soon